singing is Yeshua, and the other guys, uh, uh, one said Yoshua, the other said Yeshua. You know, they both fell into the trap that he was talking about, that yes, it's all about sounds. Now, in the Hebrew tongue, in the Paleo-Hebrew, the Lashwan Kodash, uh, there's no O, there's no E. So it's not Yoshua, it's not Yeshua, there's no letter U, it's Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. So let's bring out this out in Ecclesiastes. This is a prologue. And I'm going to read some of this as a prologue of the wisdom of Yahweh Shai, whom the world calls Jesus, the son of Sirach. Whereas many and great things have been delivered unto us by the law and the prophets and by others that have followed their steps, for which the things Israel to, ought to be commended for learning and wisdom. And this is what I said earlier. This we feel in our heart of hearts that this is what we were born to do. We are predestined to do exactly what is written here. Great things that have been delivered unto us by the law and the prophets and by others that have followed their steps for the law, for the things which Israel ought to be commended for learning and wisdom. And whereof not only the readers must needs become skillful themselves, but also they that desire to learn be able to profit which are without, both by speaking and writing. Okay, so let me read down to the part I want to read. I want to bring out. It says, <clears throat> excuse me. Wherefore, let me entreat you to read it with favor and attention, and to pardon us, wherein we may seem to come short of some words, through which we have labored to interpret. For the same things uttered in Hebrew and translated into another tongue have not the same force in them. And this is absolutely true. English is the most watered-down language ever to exist. So this should tell you what. Anybody out there that calls himself an Israelite, or a leader of Israel, or a teacher of Israel, if they're calling upon the name Jesus, or Christ, or God, or even the Most High, it shows you that they have not do, done their due diligence for studying, for studying and learning. Either that, or they are purposely, they have purposely forgotten and refused to teach those names. Because in Acts the 26th chapter, when Yahweh Shai had appeared unto Saul, it tells you right there, they spoke, he spoke to him in a Hebrew tongue. When Yahweh Shai was crucified, the inscriptions, it was written in Hebrew, Greek, and Latin. It is well known that among the, the experts of the law, the predominant language was Hebrew. We had uh, Israelites that were living, that were the Gentiles that were living uh, as Greeks, all right, and uh, as the land. So they, the, 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 uh, the wording was inscribed in different languages. But it does not have the same effect. The names Christ, the names Jesus are not Hebrew names. Acts 26, 13 again. He spoke to him in the Hebrew tongue. Okay, so let's move on and let's go to John. This is what Yahweh Shai said. Yahweh Shai answered them, I told you and, and ye believe not. The works that I do in my Father's name, they bear witness of me. But ye believe not, because ye are not of my sheep, as I said unto you. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. So if you're following Christ, after learning you're an Israelite, a Hebrew Israelite, whose native tongue is a Hebrew, you call yourself by a Hebrew name, your tribe is in a Hebrew, whether it's Manasseh, whether it's Yahuda, whether it's Loya, whether it's a Shemaiwan, whether it's a, a, a Yashakar. But then you go ahead and you call upon Christ, or Most High, Most High in Christ, or Christ or Jesus, it shows you that you're not the sheep of Yahweh, while Yahweh shy. You're not hearing the voice. The spirit is not working with you at all. You're, let's go to Isaiah. And it goes back right to this. Isaiah 1. And let's just let's go to, to 2. Hear, O heavens, and give ear, O earth. For the Lord has spoken. I have nourished and brought up Israel. Excuse me. I have nourished and brought up children. And they have rebelled against me. Verse 3. And how did the Lord nourish and brought, bring this up in this time? The truth is out there. The Most High sent the prophets out there to teach the true names of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. And they're not doing it because they bored or they ain't got nothing better to do. You know, or they're in 
a good move. They're doing it because for your salvation, the Most High sent his prophets out there to save you. The Most High said he has no pleasure in death. The Most High has no pleasure in death. So the Most High sent his prophets out there to teach you the true names of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. So he has nourished you with these words through the prophets. But what happened? You have rebelled against the Most High. You decided to go back to calling upon Christ or Jesus. You have decided to go call upon God, the Most High. Or you have decided to throw those names away and to teach otherwise. Verse 3 says, The ox knows his owner and the ass his master's crib, but Israel doth not know, my people doth not consider. So an ox and an ass knows his master. But Israel, and especially those of you that know better, you know you know the name of the Most High, Yahweh, and you know his son's name, Yahweh Shai, but you refuse to call upon those names. You refuse to teach those names. So verse 4 says, Ah, sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity, a seed of evildoers, children that are corruptors, they have forsaken the Lord, Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai. They have provoked the Holy One of Israel unto anger. They are gone away backward. So to all you out there, if you continue, this is the Most High is sending warnings out there. And because the Lord now is having these Edomites and these different so-called scholars who still can't, don't, don't have it 100% right, having them bring out these tidbits of things that we've been teaching for decades. Again, not bragging or boasting, it's the truth. We've been teaching this for decades. And there's the world that is watching from the outside in is slowly starting to realize that who's full of, of BS and who's been teaching the truth the whole time along. Because the Lord said, well, in their calamity, you shall see me early. When all hell breaks loose, because we've seen it, when all hell breaks loose or, or when you're in some type of jam or, or in uh, some type of danger, eminent danger, all of a sudden the names Yahweh and Yahweh Shai come out. You know, kind of like a woman when she gets mad and all of a sudden her Spanish comes out, she, she, she forgot how to speak Spanish. But as soon as she gets angry, the Spanish, the French, the, Pat the Patois, it comes out perfectly. Yeah, a lot of y'all out there, you got the name, you know the name, but you refuse to call upon it, you refuse to teach it. But when you're in the jam and them demons leave, all of a sudden you remember those names and those are the names you call upon. Anyway, with that, I'm going to say Shalom, all praise to you, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai Bashim, Rakaq Shalom.